It's very late in the evening, so maybe this will come through uh, better than it looks on this side of the camera. I still have something eating on my peppers and my flowers. They don't seem to like the flowers as much as the peppers, whatever it is. But I'm doing the beer thing that somebody said. My, I sent my son to a fast food, oh, not a fast food, a convenience store, and he bought a can of cheap beer. Um, and I put it in there, and last, and it's worked every night. It had slugs in it, so I'm assuming that's what's eating the peppers. And I've been picking uh, some nice green big bell peppers and chopping them up and blanching them and putting them in the freezer. And I've got more slug bait in here as beer. I don't want to use anything toxic. We don't drink either my son or myself. But, uh... I guess that's a good organic use <laughs> of beer. <laughs> and I have got um, pumpkins. I have no idea what this one is, so I can't tell you. Well, there's a pumpkin on it somewhere. Well, not a, a winter squash. Right there. Uh, I just had a bunch of mixed winter squash seeds in a, a little packet. They weren't some I bought. They were some I'd saved. And I have no idea what that is. Sure don't. I know I got acorn squash over there behind those tomatoes. As you can see right here, the heirloom tomatoes are being decimated by hot weather humidity. So I don't figure I'll get many more tomatoes off them. And the cucumbers did really well. We got, um, actually I got a couple few that needs picking now. But we did really well with the <coughs> sweet uh, pickles and some dills. And still got some going. And this over here is Crowder peas or southern cow peas, people call them. And most people up north eat them dry. We eat them green down here. And we also eat them dry. And that's sweet potatoes there, and um, <clears throat> sunflowers growing in that uh, bed right there. That behind it is a volunteer tomato, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be some kind of uh, tiny tomatoes. See that? You can't see it. It's too tiny. I think it's the Florida Everglades tomato. And they make small tomatoes, but you never have to plant them but once. They come back every year. <laughs> They drop seeds, and the seeds lay dormant, germinate, come back. You never have to plant them. And that potato that's been in there all summer, maybe it'll have a potato on it. And I got some beautiful tomatoes. Beautiful tomatoes. Got a lot of them that I put in the freezer. Because when you take them out and thaw them out, the skin will break, and you don't have to. It's so easy to peel them. Look at those big peppers there. It's really easy to peel them. And I got some hot peppers coming on that pepper. Everything is so crowded. You know, when I was putting all this in, I didn't stop to think about uh, how big all of it was going to get. Look at that slug. See him? Eating that tomato. I'll give it to the chickens. They can have the slug and the tomato. Uh, I guess I need to put some beer over here and something. That one was on the ground, so maybe they won't bother any of the rest of them because there's some nice tomatoes there. See? It's awful when when you grow in things like to the table and pests are just making a mess of it. And this is some beans I ordered from somebody on Etsy and I think they're going to be climbers so I'm going to have to trellis them and I'll have a few sunflowers in here that the peas are outgrowing and well they might get through but they're a dwarf sunflower so we'll see and my okra here is just doing great but it hasn't gotten the first bloom on it yet and I've been waiting for okra now for, seems like, ages. 
And this is a, what we call butter beans here in the south. It's got a few on it down there, you can see. They're not filled out yet. There's no beans. There's beans, tiny little beans. And if you touch them, I notice the, the blossoms just fall right off. I don't know what's causing that. We've been getting a lot of rain, a lot of rain every day. Well, today and yesterday it didn't rain. But every day this week, except yesterday and today, it has rained. And uh, I guess I'll take those leeks out when they get big enough. That's a uh, sweet banana pepper. And that's basil. More flowers that I forgot what they are. I guess maybe, maybe I'll know when they bloom. I pulled out uh, all the snap beans because they had, they had run their, run the full gamut and they'd made all they were going to make and they weren't blooming anymore. Well, I probably need to add some beer to that. It's got dead slugs down in that. Uh, I forget where I set the can of beer. <laughs> oh, I see it. It's over there. I'll add some to that. It's just a cap, a lid off of a jar. Yeah. Um, these are just starting to bloom. Just starting to bloom. This is a, a cream pea. Oh, I think it's white acre. That's what it is. And these on this side were being shaded out by the uh, snap beans, but now they should, they should grow like crazy. And these are the tomatoes I was telling you had so much disease. They're heirloom tomatoes, and it's so hard to keep heirloom tomatoes healthy in this part of the country. Up north, um, I don't know about this year because nothing's normal up north this year, is it? Anyway, we're going to get what we can get off from them. The, the flavor of the heirlooms is just so much better than all. Um, than the hybrids. You just have to risk it. Okay, I'm going to cut it off here. I've got, I've eaten one cob of corn off this corn. And I'm about almost sure that's probably all we're going to get because it, it just never got enough sun. And I'll know better than to plant it there again. If I could get somebody to cut some of the tops out of those trees right there and right there, I would have a lot more growing space. And a lot of these chickens are actually going to another home tonight. Uh, not those jet black ones you see there, they're all young. Uh, well, there's really no old, old chickens out here. But there are six of the laying hens that's going somewhere else tonight. Actually, the lady's supposed to come get them just about dark when they go to roost. I've got two broody hens. She's going to get one of those, I know. And if she wants the other one, she can have the other one, too. It'll break their broody when she takes them, because it'll be dislocating them. Look there, what some big old nice tomatoes. Beautiful. I think that's my hossinators. They don't look diseased at all yet. They're a hybrid, so maybe they'll maybe they'll survive this heat and humidity. Okay, I'm not going to rattle on and on and on. Hope I said everybody's had a good week and uh, having a good weekend. If you get a chance. Go to a good church Sunday and hear a good message, some good songs of praise and worship. And just exalt the Lord in your heart, mind, soul, and spirit. God bless.